Polish Mink, global success. When the biggest fashion houses in the world present the most beautiful furs, the skins used to make them probably come from Poland. We are at the forefront of the best fur skin producers. Our second position in Europe in terms of breeding size confirms that we, Polish mink breeders, care about quality in every aspect of production, from animal selection to breeding herds, to the development of new designs. Nearly 100 years of Polish tradition in breeding, a powerful base of firms operating solely thanks to our industry. The best furs, animal welfare at the highest world level. This is an economic success of Polish modern agriculture. We are world leaders when it comes to ensuring the highest quality skins. This is because we are together, we are dependent on each other. Year after year, we share our knowledge between us. We know that we can rely on each other. We are sure of it, just as we are sure of the seasons of the year that follow. I have been working on the farm for five years. My work goes through a natural cycle. Just as nature awakens to life, it grows, develops and dies. When winter days become brighter and warmer, the animals are ready to breed. That's when they start mating. Mink farms are a family tradition that goes back many generations. Our mink farm has been a family tradition for over 30 years. From the moment of birth, young minks are under our constant care. It's very important that the female is in the best possible condition. The nest of a breeding house must be dry, clean and warm. For a period of about four weeks, the young minks feed only on their mother's milk. After this period, they are ready to take some solid food. Therefore, we uncover a part of the nest in which there are young puppies. We lower the bottom of the house and here we can provide solid food. Then the young mink has access to both mother's milk and solid food. The better the condition of the mink, the better their skin will be, which ultimately determine their higher price. That is why we monitor animal welfare, growth and weight throughout the year. In my work, it's very important to understand the needs of animals, sensitivity to them, and to react quickly to any irregularities. No incident has occurred here that would endanger our residents or the environment. Breeding minks is different from wild animals. They are very gentle, and their breeding is very safe. We use many solutions that control our animals. From the cage, which is closed only from the outside by a double fence, which is two meters high and embedded half a meter into the ground, to an alarm system that is based on motion detectors. The farm is monitored 24 hours a day. Poland produces over nine million skins a year. The industry, together with supporting businesses, employs more than 50,000 people. For many places, mink breeders are the only employer. Today, the Polish fur skin brand competes with the biggest economic powers such as Denmark, Russia, China and Canada. No other Polish product has achieved such a spectacular global success. Everything is under strict control. Inspectors from supervising authorities regularly check whether we are doing our work well and whether we comply with all regulations. Our vet is on the farm once, twice a month. I see that it's marked here. Please pull out. We will immediately check what is happening here. It is a superficial wound. It heals well. Pharmacological treatment is not required at the moment. The animal is in good condition, so please only observe that there are no complications. Mink needs fresh food every day. 
and throughout the year they need a food of varied nutritional value, specially adapted to their stage of development. Such a well-balanced feed produces the most beautiful and healthy animals. In our plant we produce about 700 tonnes of milk fodder per day, which is delivered directly to breeding farms. The feed consists of 80% of animals' byproducts, commonly known as slaughterhouse waste. This way we use about 150,000 tonnes of this type of waste annually, byproducts used to feed fur animals in the absence of cooperation between poultry slaughterhouses, fish processing plants and our industry would become waste requiring utilization and the associated costs would cause an increase in prices of poultry and fish on store shelves to be felt by every consumer. The mink fodder is pasteurized. We have our own laboratories where we test its bacteriological purity and its physico-chemical composition. We work in three shifts. Fresh food goes straight to the barrels and we have to supply it to over 50 farms, even 350 kilometers away from our company. Each of us has to do about 400 kilometers a day. The food must be delivered without delay and on time. The use of modern technologies in production and quality control allows us to accurately calculate the amount of fodder for the individual needs of minks. Each animal eats a different amount of fodder, so I have to make several rounds with my fodder carriage every day. Before dusk, the animals are given larger portions so that they have enough until the morning. In our town there was high unemployment, so the mink farm gave us the opportunity to work, to have a very well-paid job. We all take care of animals, we are with them from the very beginning. We take care of their welfare, their health, so that they have clean and the best possible conditions. There are many myths about mink breeding. That's why it's important for us that as many people as possible see with their own eyes how real mink breeding looks. We leave the doors of our farms open all year round. We invite guests who want to see what a typical farm day looks like, regardless of the season. The Polish Paralympic team won the World Championship in 2016 and took sixth place at the Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. The trip to this event was possible thanks to the support of mink breeders. Mink breeders are always strongly associated with the communities in which they operate. Over the last three years, their support for various pro-social projects has amounted to over several dozen million zlotys. Football fields with artificial surfaces, renovation of rural common rooms, playgrounds, outdoor gyms, football schools, sports clubs, renovation of hospitals, as well as construction of new roads, sidewalks and bicycle lanes. Mink farms give work not only to farm workers. Companies from the wood, construction, electronic or metal industries have developed around breeding and they cooperate closely with breeders. We produce full equipment for fur farms from cages, breed containers, watering systems, to machines for processing skins and fodder equipment. On an annual basis, it's about 500 to 600 machines, which are sent to Poland and abroad. For now, our company employs about 200 employees. Ultimately, 300 people are to work for us. In autumn, the mink turns their fur into a winter one, which is soft and thick. This is when the selection time begins. For the next herd, I select the animals which, in terms of genotype and quality, are best suited for further reproduction. Looking at their cards, size and colour, I check how many females have spent and how many they reared young ones. The 
The remaining animals are put to sleep with carbon monoxide, which means that they are slaughtered quickly and painlessly. Nothing is wasted. Each product is used. Minks are an ideal product for energy production in biogas plants, while skins undergo subsequent tanning steps. The skin treatment process begins with the removal of a layer of fat from the skin. Fat is used to produce biofuels. Later, the leather is placed on a wool and dried to strengthen its resistance. Before they go to the sorting plant, each skin is marked with information on which farm it comes from. All skins delivered to our factory are treated to the highest production standards. The whole process guarantees maximum size and proper skin presentation. We have two independent skinning lines, a male line and a female line. Such a production line allows us to skin more than 55,000 minks daily. The world's largest auction houses are located in Toronto, Canada, Copenhagen and Helsinki. Several times a year, hundreds of merchants from all over the world and in one place set the world price of a mink fur. However, before the fur skin can be sold at auction, it has to go through a sorting process. We classify the skins according to size, hair density, hair structure, hair length, colour and shade. A Polish skin sorting plant employs over 200 people. Every year, hides and skins from more than 20 countries from all over Europe come here. Thus, the Polish skin sorting plant is among the six best sorting plants in the world. Each skin is checked in detail by experienced selectors. It is here that their quality is finally confirmed. Skins are divided into batches having the same characteristics so that it is sold. Merchants make purchasing decisions on the basis of samples only, so it is important that all sorts of skins are uniform in terms of their quality. One batch of skins contains up to 8,000 pieces. The customer is not able to view all of them. That is why the work of the selectors is so important. Customers must be absolutely certain that the selected show skins have the same quality as all the other ones hidden in the batch they buy. We all use products made of natural fur skins because only natural equals ecological. Globally, all farms stop the exploitation of the environment, contributing to its protection. The mink's breeding is special in two more aspects. First is the fact that still at each stage of breeding, each byproduct, including manure, is reused. Second is the fact that Polish farms manage hundreds of thousands of tons of animal byproducts annually, contributing to their natural utilization through feeding and maintaining stable low prices of poultry and fish. Poland has one of the world's leading mink farm positions. We are equal in quality to the world's major powers. In order to be a good breeder, apart from the three basic pillars, good farm management, top quality food and the selection of appropriate animal genetic material, it is necessary to be sensitive to animals. Poles have such sensitivity. Therefore, Poland occupies a special place in the world breeding of minks. We work with many global fashion brands that use natural fur in their collections. We also work with young, promising designers and help them to use natural fur in a completely different way than before. Thanks to inspirations from designers, furriers develop new sewing techniques and methods. Those young designers whom we help every year are those who create the future of fashion. When designers present their most beautiful fur designs, fur skins of which they are made, certainly come from Poland. Greatest design students from around the world. We create the best fur in the world, both now and in the future. 
We, Polish mink breeders, make sure that the quality of our products from season to season becomes better and better. And we dare to say that also next year our furs will be the best in the world. Because Polish minks are already a global success. Mink farms provide jobs for 50,000 people. 10,000 people are directly employed on farms. 40,000 people are employed by companies cooperating with mink breeders. The doors of mink farms are open all year round. Just contact the breeder. www.enorca.info Natural equals ecological. We all use natural products such as shoes, handbags, belts or upholstered furniture. Mink is an ecological animal, a natural utiliser of animal byproducts from poultry slaughterhouses and fish processing plants. Lack of collection, purchase of these byproducts by the mink industry will result in the necessity of their costly disposal, which will result in a significant increase in prices of poultry and fish products. Every product and byproduct, including manure, is used in mink farming. Manure, unlike mineral fertilizers, builds the structure of the soil, preventing it from lowering its capacity quality. All farms protect the environment by stopping the exploitation of natural resources. Minks are farm animals and, like poultry, cattle and pigs, they are reared for human consumption. Employment in the fur industry and in companies directly related to it in Poland is over 50,000 people. Mink farms contribute to the activation of rural areas and provide employment in regions with high unemployment. The Polish state budget does not contribute to this branch of agricultural production. Farm owners and their employees are taxpayers to the state budget. Fur and other plastic products are made from petroleum-based substances, which already at the production stage cause the emission of harmful dusts and gases into the atmosphere. Artificial products have been deposited in landfills for hundreds of years at the end of their useful life. The use of biodegradable products, including natural fur skins, contributes to the reduction of waste generation. Only products of natural origin can be called ecological. The mink breeders introduce certification of farms, which results in unification of high standards of breeding. 73% of Poles support mink farms operating in accordance with the law. There are many myths about mink breeding, so the doors of mink farms are open all year round. Just make an appointment. We invite you.